Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we're going to be playing some more Historic with the new Historic Anthology cards. And the deck we're going to be playing today is going to be a Dredgeless Dredge deck with Bloodgast. So a card from, I believe, Original Zendikar. 2 mana, 2-1, two, Camp Lock, has haste as long as your opponent has 10 or less life. And then Landfall, whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, you may return blood gas from your graveyard to the battlefield. So the whole point of this deck is to self-mill. We're playing 19 lions, and when we self-mill ourselves, we have a number of different things we could trigger. Uh, if we self-mill over Narcomoeba, it get, comes into play. Uh, similarly, uh, this fuels the graveyard for blood gas, so we can get it back. We can get back the Scrap Heap Scrounger from our graveyard. Fill in our graveyard with Silver Smoke Ghoul as well as Prize Amalgam. So Prize Amalgam could come back if we had a creature enter from our graveyard to the battlefield for the turn. So we're kind of free casting stuff from the graveyard. We also have Creeping Chill, which if it gets milled over, we get to free cast and mill our or drain our opponent of three life, which then triggers the ghoul that comes back from your graveyard. The way we're enabling this kind of effect is by using cards like Stitcher Supplier, Otherworldly Gaze. Grizzly Salvage, Glimpse the Unthinkable, targeting ourselves to mill 10, as well as Seder Wayfinder. Another addition to this deck that we got is the uh, Horizon Lands, I think they're called. Uh, so the, uh, the new ones from Horizon um, uh, Anthology 7. So you can pay a life, you add either the dual colors, and then for a mana, you can sacrifice the land to draw a card. So late game, if you run out of effects, you can easily kind of refill your hand. Um, the one card that probably I'll get asked about, Haunted Dead. I've tried this in other like Demir versions. It's hard to keep cards in hand to actually meet the discard condition. You typically only top out at two to three lions in this deck because you're only running 19. And then you'd have to keep cards in hand and it makes the discard awkward. I just, I never really loved it. Uh, the payoff's not really that high anyways. Um, so we're going to high roll. Uh, this is, I think, more of a best of one deck just because everyone will have graveyard hate in best of three but we'll take it to the mythic ladder see how lucky our top decks are and uh hopefully get some like crazy turn one two mills and uh, get going so the one thing you want to be mindful of is how the prize amalgam works if you do it in your end step so like say silver smoke comes back it's the next end step so the timing can be a bit of a like consideration when you're doing some of those effects um, so a lot of our payoffs are in our hand right now, but I think because we have both of these effects, I think we get started with this. I think it's still reasonable. Hard casting these isn't the end of the world. We could mill or like maul. You know what? I'm probably going to maul this. It's pretty much a mall anyways, because three of our seven cards we don't really want to cast. Okay, this hand's much better. I think we're going to put Narcomoeba back. It's just an individually weaker card. I'd rather cast Prize Amalgam, even if it dies, it's fine. All right, opponent, where are you at? Rakdos Gamer. Also, like, our hand really doesn't care about discard because we just fuel it back. So obviously, Creeping Chill, we'd prefer to... have it milled over, but not the end of the world. We do want to hit a land, which we did. So we'll start with attacking. We don't really draw cards in this deck, so not really concerned. Okay, we're milling the wrong cards. We want to keep that in hand. A little uh, unfortunate. Okay, so again, don't particularly care Which of these they kind of hit over? They could have another Orcish, but I think this trade's fine. We want to get cards into our graveyard. 
Okay, so we hit the prized amalgam. We also have Seder Wayfinder here. Very aggressive trades out of our opponent here. Otherworldly Gaze is fairly nice. I think we just play this out for the turn. I'm going to set an upkeep stop here, I think. Um, maybe not. We'll see. Because I can just do Wayfinder. Should have done the stop. So, green. Hopefully find a land. Well, that is really awkward. We have so much gas provided we find the land, so we're just going to do this now. Um, I actually like all of this. So our blood gas come back. We get all these prized amalgams back. And I think we just played Narcamoeba here. I know I have this. This works really nice to fuel and we get a bunch of value, but you can see like all this free kind of Effect. So they have Crucius. Crucius has been nerfed notably. So we'll do this. They could have one ring. So you want to set seconds main. Okay, so here. Because we find creeping chill. We want to do this now because the damage wouldn't work otherwise. And if we could find another copy now. We just kind of... So they get the fog for the turn, but they're not really going to be able to answer our board. And that was a little bit of an awkward, but you saw how like you're able to dig, the blood gas come back, they trigger all those things. Alright, on the board, Dredgeless Dredge. Opponent missed a couple turns. I think they're a bit aggressive with the Bowmaster. They were only taking a point a turn, and by fueling our graveyard, they really let us kind of flip over and get that big flip. Days for days, you think they're on a counterspell deck? Uh, this hand is good. Um, do I want a third land is the question. Probably not, just the way our hand's shaping up. So they're probably Tainted Pact since they're on Lutri. Actually, they're not Tainted Pact. They're on a Singleton. Okay, so we just milled a lot of lands, which is kind of unfortunate. Probably get Dark Slick Shores here. I should have actually um, attacked first. So I think here we set... Maybe we set up Keep Trigger. No, we probably go Seder Wayfinder, try to find a land, play the 
the gaze. I could also just play Prized Amalgam. I was hoping for a bigger hit off this. Okay, we did draw Stitcher, which is nice. Okay, so we'll take action here. They lose the life. We do have two ghouls, which is nice. Gonna start with attacking here. And so I have the option of gazing here, which is probably what we do. Cause if I could find like another silver smote, find another creeping chill, Do I want the gaze on top? Because gaze lets me gaze, gaze, stitcher supplier. So if they don't have a sweeper here, they're in a pretty bad spot, even if they do. Unless it's like anger of the gods. So we'll set a trigger here. We can also just sack these to draw cards. So even if they have a sweeper here, not the end of the world. Okay, they're a young pyromancer deck. Certainly is interesting. Okay, so we're going to pass through combat. You got to be mindful of how auto tapper works here. So throw all these in the bin. Might set an upkeep trigger too. Okay, so we probably want this glimpse. Smack him for a bunch. And like removal's not great here. They only all have access to one ring. And they're going to be taking some amount of damage here. But if I get another creeping chill. Okay, so we get Narcomoeba. We get our amalgams. I think we just try to find creeping chill game match they can try for like spell pierce here but they did they did Opponent really didn't do too much that game. We're just showing like removal doesn't really do much against us. Unless it's like Anger of the Gods, which everybody either plays Brotherhood's End or Divine Purge is actually pretty good against us, actually. But I feel like Blue White Control's been pushed out a little bit from Bowmaster. Our creatures dying from Bowmaster also doesn't really matter. So we'll take that as it is as well. Um this hand looks pretty good. 
Like again, we'd like these in the yard, but I think all things considered, it's, it's decent. These can help us dig pretty deep. We're pretty weak to wizards. That's one thing we can be because they'll have good pressure. And then they have flying. With a lot of the other decks, we can chump block, but with wizards, they can have really explosive decks. And like with the big thing with wizards is if you answer their creatures, they lose a lot of their explosiveness. We're, we'll try this one out. Again, this is a hand that might be something we mulligan, but I want to see how these games play out. Adventurous Impulse. Mono green. Show me what we got. Okay, so we got a Silver Smood in there. This could be like an Ugin deck, which would be somewhat scary. Okay, so we'll take the Peatland here. Not the fastest clock, which I don't love, so we're probably going to gaze in our upkeep. Could be Land Destruction. Yep. So I'm going to hover over this. I don't want them to blow up my blue land. I think we just go to draw step here. No! Um, here... Let's just go another Wayfinder. Get the Watery Grave out. Yeah, so we're getting some pressure, which is nice now. In typical land destruction fashion, don't do much, die. So you'll see right above my head, there is a count, 9,378. That is the current amount of YouTube subs we have on the channel. We're trying to hit 10,000 ideally by the end of July. So we're about 600 short. If you haven't subbed to the channel, it's free. It costs you nothing, just click the button. It helps promote the channel for others. So if you're enjoying this type of content, it does help in that respect. All right, Squeeze Revenge. We played them yesterday. They were on Convoke. Um, I'm going to mulligan this hand, and I'm going to keep this hand. This hand's very painful. And I know they're on an aggressive deck, which is a bit scary. So my lions, ooh, they switched up. That does help. So I usually start with this because it puts the most amount of cards in the library. So next turn, I will have one, two prized amalgams with the blood gas coming back. So we'll likely Grizzly Salvage here. I'm probably going to Grizzly Salvage first. Looks like they could potentially be on the same plan. just in Demir. So they do have access to Wonder, which gives their creatures flying, provided they have an island. So I'm going to start with this. Since we did find the Watery Grave, we'll play that tapped. Play this tapped, say go. I'm going to set an upkeep stop. I want to wa um, otherworldly gaze on my upkeep. So 
we get a whole bunch of value here. Clearly the superior dredge player. I don't love tower, it's a legendary land. It does like enable that shenanigan, but... So like here they could return the hunted dead. The one thing you want to do is wait to play your land till post combat so you can get your blood gas back. Okay, they're opting to gaze over hunted dead back. Okay, so they got two more prized amalgams in there. If they do have a land. Um, so we're going to do this. We'll draw this, go to main, smack them for a bunch. And then glimpse ourselves. So we hit a lot here. A lot of salvages. Okay, so they hit three Narc Amoebas, which is going to be good. Kind of want to find a backup land. We also have th three Creeping Chills. So these will come into play tapped, which isn't great for them. No Creeping Chills. Okay, so they did hit the Creeping Chill. So they're getting a lot back now. And they do have Flying. So I want to try to hit my Creeping Chills here. Okay, so that's one Creeping Chill. Got him. And then we have uh, five attackers to their blockers. Superior dredge. So I'll check what our score is. I think we're four now. There should be match five. Yeah, four no. Give this one more. See if we can do the clean 5 0. The Alzeal reloaded. I believe I have this person on Twitter. Start with Stitcher here. In case they're an aggressive deck, we can start with this. Um... I do want Glimpse. Glimpse just provides a lot of value. Oh, they're probably on Goblins. Yeah. I don't... I think I die next turn. So again, do this before you play a land.
get a whole bunch of stuff back. And then I think we set upkeep here. Yeah, if they just go rebels here, they're dead. Easy peasy. All right, clean 5-0. Dredge, awesome, easy. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.